This video will show you how to use Excel's function to calculate descriptive statistics such as mean, median, mode, as well as quartiles, percentages, and z-scores to determine if your data has any outliers. Here we're looking at the average rate per night for hotel rooms in a variety of different cities. First thing I want to do is calculate descriptive statistics. So I'm going to go to data up here, click data analysis, select descriptive statistics from my list here, and click OK. My range of data is my range that actually has numbers in it. If I have, don't have it selected automatically, I would enter that here in the input range. My output cell will be any open cell here. I'm going to select D1. I would like to select summary statistics and have a confidence interval of 95 percent. I'm going to click OK. Open this up here. I find that the average rate for a night is $159.05 with a maximum of $245 and a minimum of $120. Next, I would like to calculate my quartiles. Drag this down, two, three, four. Okay, so for my first quartile equals, quartile is the first thing that comes up here, so no reason to keep typing. For my first quartile, that is going to tell me the first 25%. So 25% of the hotels uh, have a price that's less than or equal to this. So I'll highlight my data, comma, first quartile, so I'll enter my one. I will do the same thing for the remainder of my quartiles. The second quartile, comma, two, close my parenthesis. My third quartile, And finally, my last quartile. Which is going to give me 100%, so my that will end in my max range here. So 25% have a rate less than 137. 75% have a rate less than quartile 3 of 168. Next. I can use this to calculate my percentage. So let's say I want to find a percentage of hotels that cost a certain amount. Let's say 50%. I will enter a percentile. Come up with my data here. And let's say I want 50%, so 0.5. 50% of my hotels uh, cost less than $161, or that is the 50th percentile. Next, I want to calculate the z-score to determine if I have any outliers. So here, I'm going to just insert a column. What I did here, I right-clicked on this column. I'm going to click Insert. That's just so I can keep my Excel sheet looking nice. Z-score. I will hit equals, standardize. Standardize is the first thing that comes up. Now notice it wants, it says X mean standard deviation. So the first thing that it wants is my variable of interest. So the first z-score I want to calculate is for Atlanta with a rate per night of 163. So I'll click that as my X, comma, my mean. My mean is over here, $159.05. So that's going to be constant for all of these, so I'm going to put dollar signs in at this time. Then it asks for my standard deviation. My standard deviation here is listed there as $30.94. And again, I want this to remain constant for all of my calculations. I'll close my parentheses. And now I can drag this down, and it will calculate the z-scores for all of them. And you can see that none of my z-scores are above or below 3. Therefore, I do not have any outliers in this sample.